let's continue with the next page electrical potential difference um, as you have learned in year 10 actually you know that electrical potential difference is actually voltage in the circuit so um, and we also talk about the definition of voltage in year 10 also which is uh, actually at that time we talk about is energy over charge uh, but here we use the word W because our uh, energy more fundamentally is actually word done W okay so from now on in IB we use W instead um, <clears throat> if you try to read the textbook by yourself you find out that uh, is basically saying how much energy per unit of charge so this is uh, something you can say about when you uh, ask about the definition of potential difference uh, from one point to another okay of moving a point charge again so always talk about a point charge instead of uh, a, a big bulk of charge and if you try to look at the formula here you can deduce that this is joule this is coulomb and that's why the units is joule per coulomb and you may still not understand you still don't understand uh, the meaning of potential difference you can think, think about it this way uh, whenever you move a certain charge with the presence of a electrical field you need energy for example uh, if you have let's say I draw a drawing here so positive let's say this is fixed okay and there is another positive charge you are trying to move if you want to move this charge from this position to this position for example apparently if you imagine like when this positive charge moving to the right uh, you are more like having a force going against you because these two positive charge would like to repel each other and so if you're trying to push this positive charge to the right hand side you need to give energy to it so this is the work done that you perform and transfer to this positive charge and depending on how much charge it is because apparently if you have more charge then the force will be stronger and therefore uh, that would be a stronger energy I mean more energy uh, but when we talk about potential difference we want to take away the factor of how much charge it is so that's why we divide divide by how much charge it has okay so uh, you can see that when we talk about static charges this is a microscopic microscopic that means if from a fundamental particle view um, talking about the potential difference when we talk about circuits in year 10 it's more like a macroscopic view and that is something we would see again in the future in physics as well it's very common the other thing that you may want to uh, realize is that uh, since the equation once again is V equals to energy over charge then since energy is a scalar scalar and also for charge it is also scalar and therefore obviously potential difference is a scalar as well and so what's so special about scalar is they have no direction and therefore if you have a at a certain point let's say if you have three things let's say a positive charge here let's call it A and then let's call it B and let's say there's a charge called C if you put the spotlight on A this charge uh, A would experience a certain poten potential difference from B at the same time a certain potential difference from C what you have to do is you can just add them up together without without carrying the direction where where they are so this is the idea of uh, having potential difference to be scalar let's try to do some practice let's take a look of 5.8 uh, I don't think I included that in the notes yes I didn't include that so maybe you can take a look and I think you can just quickly uh, think about the question in your mind and that should be okay you can now pause the video and think about it first okay let's take a look of the answer so the question basically is asking you uh, the 
they give you the charge so this is Q you may want to write down next to it and this is the word done W and well they simply ask you the potential difference between these two points so you just have to substitute into the equation and that's how you find the answer All right so this is a very simple question so that's why I didn't ask you to do it uh, don't worry I uh, will soon move on to the next part but uh, in the next video we'll try to do some uh, questions together and so you will see more questions about potential difference let's move on to the next part first so something called electron volts um, first of all when you look at electron volts um, if you try to read this you find out uh, electron volts if you look at its name is electron volt so e v and the reason why we put here is uh, it's something to do with what we just talked about in the previous page electrical potential difference and so this is saying uh, referring to the work done I mean you can simply look at this work done when a charge equal to one electron so one electron charge going through one volt okay so that's why 1 EV equals to this because if you try to use the equation which is written here also but I can actually move uh, I mean I can still use the way that is shown here V equals to W divided by Q which is the same equation from the data booklet okay this one so V equals to W over Q so basically what it's saying is when you have one electron and one volt and that's the energy we're done you are having so what you could do to express EV in terms of joule is because W work done in itself is in joule already and you're trying to express it in terms of joule so that would be for V you substitute 1 and then W is what you want to find and Q is the fundamental sorry is the elementary charge which is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 if I put a unit that would be coulomb that will be V and simply you just rearrange it and you'll find out W is 1.6 times 10 negative 19 of course with the unit of V times C and actually V times C would simply be joule in that case okay so that is uh, what it means by one EV in itself okay because this this thing is simply simply one E one electron okay so this would be quite useful uh, in the future especially when we learn about chapter 7 uh, about nuclear physics okay so this is some basic idea you learn first Let's try to do this uh, work example in your notes and pause the video right now. Come back to us when you finish. Okay, so this is a quite standard question which may appear in the exam. So it it says that uh, you know the it asks you to find the proton velocity and that is accelerated from the rest. So basically, it's telling you that the initial speed is zero, potential difference is that much V okay so uh, what you need to do is basically uh, using the idea we've learned basically so V equals to W over Q and since the potential difference is simply 5 times 10 to the power of 3 then substitute it and you want to find the work done first and then the Q is actually one proton because it's at a proton so it's is also 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 okay so from that you can find the W which you can use a calculator to find out that is the energy that you have in terms of joule and finding out this can help you to find the speed because all this work done is used to accelerate it Accelerate means the energy change from, of course, the original electrical potential energy to kinetic energy. So that's that's how you can relate the energy to kinetic energy. So uh, simply copy the amount of work done and equate it with uh, the mv half mv square. So you've got m already, and then you can find out the v again by calculator. So it's actually a pretty fast speed. 
Okay, so for part B, what it asks you is and um, it said uh, the proton with a speed of this enter a region of electric field. Uh, such a way is slow down. So imagine that what you happen is uh, you you go in the opposite direction. Uh, if you if you can't imagine that, you can imagine like we have a. I hope we have enough space. So let's say you got a um, power supply. And then what you could do is uh, you can have this side to be positive and this side to be negative. doesn't really matter. But then let's say you somehow could shoot a proton inside and uh, to slow it down. So that means you are shooting it from here to here because proton in itself is positive. So if you try to reach to the positive side, eventually it will slow down. Okay, I hope you can imagine that. So that's how the kinetic energy got reduced because that Ke would store to become electrical potential energy. Uh, the situation is a little bit uh, similar to when we talk about gravitational field, uh, gravitational potential energy, GPD. Uh, what you can do is you can flow an apple with a certain, uh, let's, let's just draw a ball, I mean, I'm not, I'm not good, good draw. Uh, with a certain Ke upward and so in that case the ball will slow down and of course Ke will reduce and the reason why Ke will reduce is because of the GPE since it's going up it has been increased so this is a similar situation uh, like gravitational potential energy for the calculation it asks you to determine the potential difference required to slow down to its half initial speed so from the experience you have from part A, you know that uh, if you want to know half of the speed, then you, you will relate it to kinetic energy again. So the new speed would then be, um, well apparently I think you can, if you allow me to do quickly, and that's simply divide by 2, so 2.2 .2 times 10 to uh, power of 6. And what you need to find out is then the kinetic energy maybe you, you can what you can find out is the change of kinetic energy because when you find the usually the equation let me just write it down again the work done is simply the ke change change of ke over the charge so if you know ke change and q q apparently is again the same one proton so it's also 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 that one uh, then you can find the answer potential difference that you need so what you can do is do m v square so what you can do is use a new one minus the sorry the old one minus the new one then you can find the difference basically or you can if you like to do the negative way actually you know what actually let's just do the, the negative way because in that case, you get a negative answer. A negative answer indicates that you are going uh, through a negative change of uh, potential. Okay, so uh, one thing that you, you should pay attention is uh, the square here. It should be squaring the speed first because the Ke equation again is half mv square. So imagine it's like half mv square minus another half mv square for the new one and the old one. All right, it's like this. So you are you are going to square the velocity first. Wrong example would be something like this. Okay, this is wrong because well apparently you should know that a square minus b square does not equal to a minus b bracket square okay this is something you learn in maths already okay so uh, substituting this M again you have it from the answer from the question and Q once again is 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 you should be able to work out the answer